Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Advanced Wars 2 Let's Play. Last time we took on Sammy, or we took Sammy and took on Black, and uh, kicked his ass. Let's kick some more ass, yeah, shall we? Armies on both sides, an ocean in the middle. Let the hostilities begin. Hey, Orange Star Dogs, can you hear me? Um, Lord Flack, the microphone. Shut up! Too complicated. Anyone there, or are you too scared to face me? What's with the racket? You lonely or something? Ha! Look, a gorilla. What did you say? If anyone's here is a gorilla, it's you, ape man. I'm no ape. I'm Flack. Flack? What is that? Some sort of code name? Listen up, Flack. My name's Max. Now tell me, what you jerks are doing rampaging through our country? Your country? Orange Star belongs to the Black Hole Army now. You complain, you get hurt. Oh, you think so? Give it your best shot. Hit me with your best shot, dude. Dude. Okay, no, sorry. Next we have Orange Dawn, Mission 3. Max, calm down. No. To lose your head is to lose the fight. I taught you that, remember? Yes, but I... It's just... I understand your anger, Max. No one likes seeing his homeland ravaged. All the more reason to proceed calmly and rationally. Use your head and drive these fiends from our borders, okay? You got it. Let's roll. Okay, so here we go. Uh, mission 3 with Max. Max is uh, probably my favorite CO from Orange Star. Unfortunately, he got severely, severely weakened from the first Advance Wars game. If you couldn't remember, in the first Advance Wars campaign mode, I used Max, like, constantly. Honestly, he is the best CO from Orange Star in the first game, because his uh, firepower bonus is huge. In this game, it actually gets uh, weakened a little bit, but he still is the direct combat specialist that he was in the first game. And he is still pretty powerful, just not as powerful as he was in the first game, where he could easily get up into 200% damage. In this game, definitely over 100 if possible, but not very much, or not very often. Okay, so, yeah, she's going over uh, Max's direct combat epicness, I guess. And yes, Nell is calling out Max's inability to perform with uh, indirect units. But hey, we'll just not use indirect units, even though we do have one. So yes, we have some new units here. First we have a T-copter, a transport copter. Uh, they're basically like APCs, only difference are, is the fact that it's an air unit, and uh, also, it doesn't have the refuel and uh, restock ammo functions that an APC does. So, that's basically all a T-Copter is. It's pretty useful, though, for uh, taking units over for a quick HQ capture, much like we'll be doing in this map, so uh, that's how we're going to start this out anyway. So, let's go ahead and move you over here. Then we're also going to move our um, tanks forward. Uh, this is a medium tank. A medium tank is a stronger variation of a regular tank. Uh, they have way more firepower, but they move one less space, so you have to take that into consideration. And finally, Max's indirect units are a lot weaker than other indirect units from other COs. And not only that, his indirect units have the problem of subtracting one from its attack range, so as opposed for this artillery going two to three spaces, it can only go two spaces in this game. And for Max's rockets, instead of going from three to five, they can only go from three to four, so that's basically how his indirect units work. You should all know this, but yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to leave you right here. And finally, we have these B-copters, battle copters. Battlecopters are basically tanks of the sky. They can uh, hit any land unit pretty hard except for anti-airs. And uh, 
that can also hit some naval units also pretty hard, but again, except for cruisers and basically any units that are equipped to take out flying units. Uh, as for other flying units, they're good against other battle copters, obviously, and transport copters. As for other flying units, though, keep the battle copters away. Focus using them on uh, land units because that's where they're definitely going to shine. Or again, other D copters, of course. As you can see, Max's firepower. There are a few equals out there, but for the most part, there is no equal, at least right now, anyway. Flak is uh, not going to be very much competition for Max, let's just say that. But yeah, let's go ahead and turn. And we'll see what Flak does. He has two medium tanks, but we have two flying units, so we're definitely uh, more equal to beating him on this chapter. And now Nell is going to talk about the repair function of the game. Basically, whenever you join two units together, their health will actually be combined. However, a unit's health can not exceed 10 HP. If it does, any leftover HP will be converted into funds equal to 10% uh, of a unit's cost. So, for example, um, battle copters are 9,000 gold each. If you join a 10 HP B copter with a um, 9 HP B copter, you'll have 9 leftover HP. So, 9 times 10% of 9,000, which is uh, 900, is 8,100. That's basically what you'll get in funds. So yeah, that's basically how that calculation works. Hope I explained it well enough and hopefully it makes sense to you guys. But yeah, that's what the join function does. But we're not going to do that because honestly a 9 HP B copter is fine. I don't know why Max freaking got freaked out so much. But right now we're going to make a wall. It's going to be a very sexy wall. A sexy wall involving tanks and uh, very weak artilleries. Even if Max's artilleries are weak, they can still be very helpful, so don't discount them. Not at all. There's no reason to discount them, they're still useful. And we're going to go ahead and weaken some of these medium tanks. As for the T-Copter, well, we're just going to move you right here. Then we're going to continue. Naturally, Flak did not attack the uh, medium tank, because that would have been extremely stupid if he tried that. So hey, he actually has some brains, believe it or not. And yeah, look, we can uh, freaking kill this unit in one hit. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Behold the power of medium tanks. They're super strong. And they're good for you. But for now, let's focus more on uh, taking out these medium tanks, because they're going to be an issue. Do this. Keep going from over here. Okay, um. Next, we're going to move you over here. Drop the infantry just out of range, and. Yeah, that should be it for that turn. Okay, still making the same mistakes, I'm not surprised. Let's, uh, do some damage here. Finished off that tank. Still can't do anything with the, uh, artillery, but that's fine. Because we can do something else with our tanks. We knocked the medium tank down to 1 HP, so a regular tank should be just fine in finishing it off. Uh, 
And with that, we can actually continue uh, tearing apart these guys, too, so... That works for me. Then we're gonna block you, so we can uh, let the infantry do his work at the HQ if he needs to. Basically, we can just do something like this. I think he can still reach the infantry. Yeah, he can still reach the infantry, but yeah, that's basically something you'd want to do in a situation like this. Basically, guard the enemy from reaching your capturing soldier. But it still tried to escape, so that was kind of stupid. So let's go ahead and uh, finish up his army right here. We can surely do that with our resources. Knock them down to zero HP. He's dead. And uh, we can also finish off these guys, too. And just for a small bit of overkill, let's see how much a medium tank will do to a uh, normal infantry. 113%. Not bad. Let's blow them away. And blow them away, we did. So yeah, there we go. Those that ape man. Told you not to mess with me. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Don't ha ah, me! You just got beaten! This was just a test. Next time it's for real. Look, I've never heard that before. I'm gonna make you regret ever showing your ugly mug around here. Max, or whatever you said your name was, you're mine. Before this is over, I'll crush you like a bug. So long. Wait! Wait, dirtbag! Shoot! He got away. Black Hole. Deplorable characters. All of them. You said it. By the way, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. After the battle, you'll see some points in her rank- Okay. She's basically going to explain the rank-up system, which I already did in the, uh... Not the last video, but the first video, so... I am going to go ahead and kind of skip this, so... Uh, yeah, that's basically it for this mission. So, that's gonna about do it for this video, too. And, uh, once we complete this mission, we'll actually have the option between three missions. And, uh, we have to do them all if we want to complete the game anyway, so it's not like I'm gonna ask for a vote or poll or anything, because, well, first of all, I'll record these in advance, as it is. But, um, yeah, we'll actually have a choice. We're gonna use the, uh, three COs again. And there will also be two other missions. One is actually a secret mission that only unlocks uh, if you find a, a specific object in one of the maps. And uh, then there's also the final one. And in those two uh, battles, we can actually choose our CO. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So uh, this has been Slim Kirby. This is Dental Play Advanced Wars 2. I will see you guys next time when we do the second part of Orange Star. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Later, folks.